Hello guys, welcome back. And welcome kung bago ka sa channel na to. So, pag-uusapan naman natin yun is composition of functions. Okay? So, solve tayo ng problem. Uh, given f of x equals 2x minus 1, g of x equals x plus 3, and h of x equals 2x squared minus 5. Now, find for letter A, uh, f composed of g of x. For letter B, g composed of f of x. For letter C, f composed of h of x. And for letter D, uh, h composed of f of x. So, for letter A muna tayo. That is, f composed of g of x. So, ito yung symbol ng, so, ito yung symbol ng composition of functions. Okay? Parang maliit lang siya na uh, O. Okay? So, itong F composed of G of X, equivalent lang siya sa F of G of X. Okay? So, ibig sabihin nito, yung X dun sa F of X natin, papalitan natin ng G of X. Yun yung ibig sabihin na F composed of G of X. Okay? So, tandaan nyo lang, kung ano yung maunang function dito, yun, yun, yun din yung maunang function dito. Okay? So, f of g, so f g. Okay? So, now, sulat muna natin yung function of x. So, function of x is equal to, so, 2x minus 1, and then, and then, yung mga x, palitan natin ng, g of x. So, f of g of x is equal to 2 times g of x minus 1. Okay? So, yung mga x, pinalitan natin ng g of x. Okay? Yun yung ibig sabihin nito. And then, so, ano yung value ng g of x natin? That is, x plus 3. So, palitan lang natin ito ng x plus 3. Okay? Then, simplify lang natin. Distribute natin itong 2. So, 2 times x, that is 2x, plus 2 times 3, that is 6, minus 1. And then, simplify ulit, 2x, 6 minus 1, that is 5. Okay, so ito na yung final answer natin. So, therefore, yung function, yung f of g of x is equal to 2x plus 5. So, ganun lang yung composition of functions. Then, for letter b, that is g of f of x naman. Okay? So, equivalent naman to sa g of f of x. Okay? So, sinabi ko kanina, Kung ano yung nauna dito, yun din yung nauna dito. Okay? So, nauna yung G, nauna rin yung G dito. Okay? So, again, so, yung sabihin lang nito, papalitan natin yung uh, X dun sa G of X ng F of X. So, G of X is equal to X plus 3. Then, palitan natin yung X ng F of X. So, G of F of X is equal to f of x plus 3. So again, yung mga x, pinalitan lang natin ng f of x. Okay? So, f of x natin is 2x minus 1. So, palitan lang natin ng 2x minus 1 tong f of x. Okay? So, simplify. Negative 1 plus 3 is positive 2. So, ito na yung final answer natin. So, therefore, g of f of x is equal to 2x plus 2. Then, for letter c, that is f of h of x naman. Okay? So, equivalent lang to sa f of h of x. Yan, now na yung f, now na yung f. So, f of x is equal to 2x minus 1. 
And then, yung x, palitan lang natin ng h of x. So, f of h of x is equal to 2 times h of x minus 1. So, yung mga x, pinalitan lang natin ng h of x. So, ano yung h of x? That is 2x squared minus 5. So, palitan lang natin ng 2x squared minus 5 yung h of x natin. Okay. Then simplify. So distribute natin yung 2. 2 times 2x squared, 4x squared. 2 times negative 5, negative 10. Then minus 1. Simplify ulit. 4x squared, negative 10 minus 1, negative 11. Okay. So ito na yung final answer natin. So therefore, f of h of x is equal to 4x squared minus 11. Then for letter D, find h of f of x. Okay, so, binaligtad lang yung letter C na. So, that is, so, equivalent lang to sa h of f of x. So, h of x is equal to 2x squared minus 5. And then, palitan natin yung x ng f of x. So, h of f of x is equal to 2 times uh, f of x squared minus 5. So, ano yung f of x natin? That is 2x minus 1. So, palitan lang natin ng 2x minus 1 itong f of x natin. So, squared minus 5. Okay? So, pinalitan lang natin yung f of x ng 2x minus 1. So, simplify lang natin yan. So, ito ay square of a binomial. Square the first term. So, 2 squared, that's 4x squared. Then, multiply. 2x times negative 1, negative 2x times 2, negative 4x. Square the second term, that is 1. Okay? Minus 5. Simplify lang ulit. Distribute lang natin itong 2. 2 times 8, 2 times 4x squared, that is 8x squared. 2 times negative 4x, that's negative 8x. 2 times 1, positive 2, minus 5. Then, simplify natin ulit. So, 2 minus 5, that's negative 3. So, erase ko na lang. Negative 3. Okay, so, ito na yung final answer natin. Therefore, uh, each composed of f of x is equal to 8x squared minus 8x minus 3. So comment below guys kung nakatulong nyo. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like.